Okay, we're back. Uh, the internet's been going down repeatedly. Uh, I've also had battery issue, or not battery issues, I don't know what to call it. My phone just keeps turning off. People's phones are just turning off and turning back on. Uh, so, uh, I am back. We do have internet for the moment. Um, I'm streaming. If I do go down for any significant period of time, I do have backup cameras still, so um, I will remain until I have no camera left.
they kill a lot of people. They get Ukrainians and kill our soldiers after they get yeah. back. Yes. And I know some of these guys were over there, and they may have gotten some of that from the Ukrainian, they may be having that. Completed uranium is a war crime. He's praying for peace. Guys, you got a new job. You got a new job. You don't pay much right now. Yeah. You want to buy violent weapons? It's just you and us. You and us. You have to remember that. We are using non violent weapons, but you are using violent weapons. Now we are fighting for both of those things, protecting our family. Protecting your citizens. You're protecting your citizens. You're protect you're protecting our citizens. The one problem is it's like an east, it's like a Berlin wall. You get to stand in that side, you get to stand in this side. You know what that officer said in that letter? The day that you change the law, which protesters normally do and always do. We get to have a law that allows us to arrest the one percent that will survive. But I tell them, let us allow to make that change so you can make that arrest. Otherwise, you'll be arresting the wrong people. You are kind people. I'm pretty sure you are a family. I'm pretty sure you have children to home. But you have to make the decision to lower your regards and take one step back. I'm asking you as a citizen of the United States of America to show some kindness to the people. You are not a machine, you are a human being. Remember that. You've got to remember that. Thank you, officer, for lowering that cover. So this is Carrie uh, Faux Truth on Twitter at C A R R I E F O T R U T H. Carrie Faux Truth. Uh, if you want to follow me, uh, I like to do a lot of things about Occupy, world events. Uh, a bit of a foodie, so you might see some uh, more organic and sustainable news in there as well. Uh, and uh, of course, I uh, 
like to tweet my uh, my videos. It's like they've just set up a barrier. They've just set up barricades. And uh, there's a few of us in here, so I'm probably uh, just as an bad There's a lot of journalists in this mix. She was like, yeah, so I'll be seeing you around at work. And I was like, no. Yeah, yeah, number 10%. She's something like 80%. 10% of the time. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if they cut it, I would wait. I, I'm actually against it. raising taxes. Construction companies and stuff. You know, at least they're moving overseas. It's more expensive to do. It's like, wait a minute. Not exactly the problem. Police force like that. In general. Yeah. in the intersection has been broken up or loosened by police and riot here. So now it is all sort of uh, boiled down to this cluster of reluctant uh, to move demonstrators who are now squared off with Chicago police. And the media that protects them. No, he's in beach, isn't he? It's about half indie journalists in there, dude. So when the police do attack people and hurt them, we get it on film. What? Are you streaming? Yeah. What's your channel? Occupy PDX News. Are you a streamer? No, no, no. I'm, I'm from Chicago, so cool. I was just checking you out. Yeah. Blaze, by the way. Carrie Faux Truth. Cool. On Twitter. to move, I mean, like the, uh, the mainstream media put it, you know, I just feel like I have a responsibility. Um, if, I'm, if I'm not here, we're not here showing people what really happened, then anything they say just is, you know, taken as the gospel. And you can go back to a live stream or a video feed or, or photos and just show the real, show the truth. It helps. It really does. And people don't realize how much. I mean, two people were recently acquitted because of their, uh, because of live stream. So. Time. You know what time it is? I don't 
know, guys. I'm supposed to be going to this World Indie Media event, and um, I might be stuck here for a rest. I'm not sure which. The long, grueling day. What they call war making, which is what they say NATO does, it's make war. All right, very good. Robert, good to talk to you as always. Uh, we'll do our best. We're just trying to stay safe. Bye bye. You know, it's funny, I've heard that a lot. Trying to stay safe. Then what does that really mean? I mean, when you say in a situation like this, that you're quote unquote trying to stay safe, generally, I would think he's talking about the police. He's trying to stay safe from police violence. And this is a mainstream media reporter. Granted, he was just talking to his people back at the station or whatever. He's not on, on camera, but... Oh, he was on my camera. But it, that, that, I find that very interesting, that even mainstream media has to um, protect themselves against the police or you know, take cautionary measures so that they are not either beaten or maced or arrested. So... You know, staying safe in that context, which I find very, very interesting. Oh, man. Yeah, they're my best friends. We're standing here in solidarity with those kids. The FBI has been trapping kids all over the country. They just hit up those three kids earlier this week, and I heard there's like two more in Chicago now. I mean, it's an epidemic. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Cleveland Five. If you don't know about it, look it up. Look it up. So, let me check out the scene over here. White Castle. We don't, we don't have those in Portland. Just have never seen them. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's blocked off. The only way to go is, I don't know, they've got the fire department here, which is a little strange. Is illegal to run away from the of your life? We're wearing narrow passes there. Um, that's, uh, looks like you have to go all the way down. Hard to tell, actually, because it'll even leave that way. I assume you can. I hope you can. But it's really just a whole lot of police all the way down. You can see it at the end there. Down that, down that pathway. Um, yeah. Which way are people being allowed to leave? Where's Mary? Just that way? Okay. So yeah, we have confirmation. Oh, Looks yeah. like only west people are allowed to uh, go that way. Hey, would you mind telling uh, the people uh, what happened? Uh, yeah. Alright, so, uh, oh. yeah. Okay. I just happened to be up front, very, very beginning, and. Uh, and an officer got me with his club. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much what, what I was doing. What the time you were hit? Standing like this, being pushed, you know. And you were I mean, there was a huge wall. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was at the corner, so it was like when it was first, mm -hmm. the push was first starting. But yeah, no, you know. My Did he hit broke. anyone around you? Uh, after I got hit, I kind of fell back, and, and after that, like, right. but I didn't you, pass out or anything. As far as you know, you were the first one hit? In, in that, that area. In that area. Yeah, at that time. yeah, in that area. That was like when it really started. Yeah, going down. yeah. I saw it right after it happened, and I didn't, I didn't see exactly what happened, but I saw you, sort of disoriented with a lot of blood coming down. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, I'm glad fun. you're still standing. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm Carrie. Nice I'm to meet you. I 
shake your hand and a little fist bump. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah, thank yeah, you. And thanks for sure. For what was your name? Jack. Jack. Yeah. Right. Cool, man. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you. Thank I was you. a little yeah, scary. <laughs> I know you aren't the First, only one. First, I was one. being like the stubborn dude, like, no, no medic, no medic, but, you know. Yeah, I had you to gotta. Make my way to one to start getting a little like, You gotta dress up a gash once in a while. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Pretty good natured about that, man. I respect that. Man. Yeah, you know, just gotta roll with it. I mean, it's a very Take a one for the team. Part of the process, well, I'm glad we have medics. <laughs> yeah. They're there. You know what? It's just, you know, like being. Part of it is seeing the legal and the medics and people who really know what they're doing and do it for no other reason than to help other yeah. people. It's just, I wouldn't be here right just, now if it hadn't been for a medic earlier. Oh, really? I got heat stroke oh, so, really? or heat sick. So yeah, yeah, I mean, almost passed it's great. out. great. They know exactly what to do. Yeah. They know? had me feeling better. They like, gave you like a little minutes. private area. And, yeah. yeah. Give me an ice pack to the neck, a little water, some electrolytes, and yeah. I was good to go much as I can be. <laughs> are you from here? I'm from Portland, Oregon. Oh, are you? Okay, yeah, right, I'm right, streaming right. for folks back home. Occupy Portland News. Probably okay. Cool. Yeah. When did you get into town? Uh, the 17th. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you've been here. Yeah, you yeah. You're Chicago Court? Uh, yeah, I've been a couple times, but like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have family style. here, so yeah. I just really just do like the touristy stuff, see the pier, yeah. go to movie or something, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I really got to know the city in this trip. Yeah, yeah, right? I love Portland. I've got some friends out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've been out there a few times. Nice, nice. Do you remember a bar called Sabalas? I think it's closed. Now. Oh, I do. Yeah, that yeah it is closed. Now. Yeah. Yeah, that was a while ago. So, I don't seem to be many people here. Yeah, yeah, we were just contemplating. I think about half is uh, in the media because they're um, yeah. trying to make sure people stay safe. I think the media outnumbers us at this point. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the force does. However, the person that I don't want to thank is the person that ran over one of our kids last time. You guys know who it was? No, oh, I didn't see it. I heard about it earlier. Really. Yeah. In Chicago? Yeah, that's okay right. It's okay to run over in America. Yeah. It's on live stream. I mean, to me, the proper protocol would have been stop the car, send the officer out, cuff him, and take him to jail. Would you not agree that that would be proper protocol? Anybody justify that Honestly, I've never seen so many water bottles littered by um, anybody in my whole life as I have by the Chicago Police Department today. There are these Dasani bottles there. Like I mentioned earlier, they only drink these blue, these blue capped blue Dasani bottles and all down the road, and then all on the other side of the road. There's just tons and tons and tons of these bottles littered all over the ground. I really hope they clean them up and don't you know, blame them on the, the NATO protesters and say, oh, look at these dirty protesters leaving their bottles everywhere. Because I know for a fact that's not the case. Um, yeah, there were probably a few bottles left here and there by us. Um, you know, any any large crowd that, you know, is bound to happen once in a while. But uh, for the most part, I've seen the cops throw these, these blue even if you're cops, or even, I mean, I went to one, I went to one, right? I went to one, and I went to one, and I wonder if I should write Dasani a letter. <laughs> like they would care. Looking into a lot of the water companies, they tend to be pretty I just want to know.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I saw more busted heads tonight, I think, than I've ever seen. Oh, sorry. I got earplugs. Yeah, here, I'll take Yeah, I think they're, they're probably not going to use the LRAD. Well, not on, not on this little peaceful assembly. Oh, you would think, but that bigger peaceful assembly. Haha. <laughs> Wow, I have to say, you guys, uh, these gooey earplugs, the ones that are just this like big piece of wax, you guys can see that, that is effective. Uh, I put in the regular earplugs and I could hear people, I put these in, nothing. It was, I'm, I'm mostly lip reading this whole time, so it'll be interesting to go back. I do not have lip reading. <laughs> it'll be interesting to go back and actually watch my stream. Hey, look, we're all streaming our streams. Everyone's in a little circle streaming. Ah! It's really funny, though. You guys need these really big trucks. Hey, this to do a little bit of footage when we've been live for like 12 hours. Technology. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, look at this back. I can go live with this amount of space. I can be live with this amount of space for like 16 hours. HD. 16 hours. That's only when it's 3G. It's choppy. That's why Carrie needs an iPhone, all right? <laughs> I know it's terrible. I don't actually want one, and but when it comes to the Ustream app, the the quality is just a lot better, you know. It can go three or four G, and it's um, uh, the the platform for Ustream is sort of intended. Uh, or it, you know, it's intended for the iPhone, whereas the, the platform for Android is intended for all Androids. So that looks a little antsy this morning. Move really at me like he was pretend hitting me with a baton. That's really disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> So, once again, we're at the very last little bit of the uh, the Nido standoff on Cermak Road, just a little bit down from where we were on uh, Michigan Avenue. Uh, Wabash, Wabash, or Wabash. I think they call it Wabash here. It's going to say that. Wabash. It's going to want to say that. Forgive me, I really haven't had very much sleep. So, um, the NLG, it looks like they are chit chatting with each other and hanging out over there. So, when people do get arrested, they, uh, they'll be there to take down their info and that sort of thing. And that's good. Um, well, I mean, these kids, uh, you know, like you heard uh, the last interview, he said that he was just gonna stay. And it's interesting, you know, sticking up for your rights. It's funny because they're not, you know, constitutional rights. You don't have them when you need them. And if standing or, or just sitting on the sidewalk peacefully like that is illegal, then what kind of country do we live in, people? I mean, really, when they can just arbitrarily, for no reason, close down any street and say you are now engaging in illegal conduct and throw you off the streets, you don't really have a right to protest. I mean, that's just, it's not a right. If they require a permit to assemble and 
they deny your permit, they're denying your First Amendment rights, which makes them not actually rights. I mean, that's just when it comes down to it, it's only a, a it's only a constitutional right if you have it always. If you're in America and you have the right to peacefully assemble, then when you assemble, you're broken up and then the streets close down or they deny your permit or whatever the case may be. It's not actually a right. It's, uh, it's something we like to pretend we have it. And then when you go to need, when once you need it, you end up in a jail cell. And it's kind of sad. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself, I'm rambling a little bit, but you have to understand this has been one of the, actually the most grueling trip I've ever taken. And that includes, <laughs> I try, travel quite a bit, you know. I thought backpacking through Europe was a, was a difficult thing sometimes. Uh, you know, I got swine flu, that was not fun, having to travel while dying slowly. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, that was nothing compared to this trip. Um, no sleep, trying to get a meal whenever you can, long marches in the heat, and um, bodily harm. If you guys want to see my leg, um, it's all bruised up and um, broken. The skin isn't broken, but there is very bruised underneath uh, the skin there. Um, I also have some marks on my other leg, a little bit harder to see. But uh, that was from uh, getting shoved by these uh, lovely men in blue. And, um, yeah, I had a, had a barricade. So, uh, I, was, I was luckier than the woman next to me who actually fell completely. And then another guy who gashed his leg open on it. So, just too bad. Better. I think I'm the only streamer left. What? Really? Uh oh. Oh man. Really? <sighs> they probably all went to the uh, meeting. Turn on this one. like they're moving in or leaving that would be oh they got their helmets off Ooh, they're leaving that's much better yay you guys get to see the the parade leave say kids, but they're adults. At least they all seem to be a, a, around adult age, but they're definitely a young crowd. I'd say most of them. There's one or two that look older than me, but not many. Well, maybe half and half, actually. But then that's counting the NLG, <laughs> National Lawyers Guild. Here they are. Very small group of very dedicated individuals. And um, there's the police, well, larger police force lining up. Do you mind being on camera? No, I don't. So, what are you cheering for? The guy just littered his fucking White Castle oh. shitholders. And I was just. The you guy, know, which guy? Uh, police guy right here. Ah, the police officer police just guy. littered. Yeah. And yeah, I noticed actually all of the blue Dasani bottles in the entire. Yeah. All the streets are them. It's a great example. So later on in the news, when we see the dirty streets and then blaming it on us, we will know that indeed the White Castle right there, 
Wait, wait let least, it be known that none of the protesters had White Castle. The street cleaning will be done because of the police throwing their Dasani and White Castle garbage on the floor. That is all you, dude. That is all of you. I'm sure they'll pick it up, right? I mean, sure, their bodies will pick it up. Hopefully. I don't know. Who's on, who's on litter duty? We have medics and media and litter duty. Where's your litter duty? <laughs> Anytime you have a group of people, you need medics and you need litter duty. No, it's the, the honest sad thing is that they give an image, a despicable image of what a citizen should be. And they're yeah. trying to protect that same image. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. It really it's is. Sad. It's sad. I agree. I agree. They aren't very good examples for, no, for anybody, know. really. Nope. I wouldn't teach my kids to put on riot gear and hit people. Shit, no, no. One of, <laughs> one of these cops, we're trying to like, we're, we're having a discussion, and his main argument was that the guy over here had rollerblades, and that that made him stupid. And we were like, why? How is that an argument? How are you? Isn't that like so discriminatory? Wow. And it just, you know, should pass an ordinance, no rollerblades. We, we can't even have a serious discussion with these guys. Yeah, it's hard to be serious with yeah. clowns. Clowns. But, um, how long have you been streaming for? Uh, since like noon. Damn. Did your signal get cut? What's that? Did, you, did your signal get cut? Oh yeah, multiple times. I, I think I caught like six oh, times. It's a red yeah. Shit. And I you have so much out. battery and so much everything, but it <laughs> doesn't matter when your internet and yeah. your Ustream goes down. So. Thanks for coming by. Oh yeah. Hey, thanks for being here yourself. Where are you from? Here in Chicago. Oh nice. Yeah. nice. yeah, I came from Portland, Oregon. Nice. Kind of a long trek. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, it looks like the police are starting to move down Saramac in a semi-orderly fashion here. And uh, looks like these kids, uh, <laughs> looks like these very dedicated NATO protesters uh, are not no longer facing immediate bodily harm. And that is what I call a happy ending. It is sad to me that only these few were able to stick up for their constitutional right to stand on a sidewalk, and so many walked away. I'm not sure who said it. I think it might have been Dr. Martin Luther King. But in the end, it is not the words of your enemies you remember. It is the silence of your friends. I hope that in the coming weeks and years that more people will, will be willing to put up with bodily harm. I mean, that's, that's what it comes down to, to fight the state. Uh, we are going to have to fight the state in so many ways. We're going to have to do it in courts. We're going to have to do it on the streets. We're going to have to do it monetarily. People need to figure out you know, what institutions are you propping up by, um, what institutions you're propping up by your money, and, um, and stop, stop buying from them, you know? We talk about, oh, we don't like these multinational corporations that go stomping around the planet and depleting our resources and you know, just treating the earth in a really terrible way. And I see those people, those same people that know better, go to McDonald's because it's cheap. And I understand we're poor, we're all broke, seriously. But there are creative ways to get out, you know, um, of that situation and, and work together, you know, try to put your money together and pool some food that is not going to poison you and the planet. So, um, for now, it seems like the police have dispersed, more or less, or they are leaving in the process of leaving. And it looks like it is what I would call a pretty happy ending for these people. How does it feel to be the last people left that actually stood up for your constitutional right to assemble? I hope it feels awesome because everybody back at home in Portland, Oregon, for me, and everybody on the interwebs is so proud of you guys. You guys occupied the shit out of NATO, so good for you. Three, two, one.
What I saw was an estimate. That's his fourth take. That's hilarious. I love we don't do takes here. Blocking. This is live. Ooh, this might be. Hello. All right, you guys. You all rock. Solidarity yeah, to each and every one of you. Yeah, hey. All right. So you heard it here. This is Carrie Faux Truth signing off live. But on the same joke, on the same joke. I love you guys. Um, I'm really happy, and um, I should be uh, I should be live at the indie event if it's still going on. Hopefully it is. Hey, hopefully I get in. Uh, so I'm gonna go figure it out. And uh, I actually, you know what? Because I love you, and I'm, you know, I have to walk by like 500 cops. How about we just stay on the air until I finish? Dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. This will be my rolling credits. I would also like to thank Alex Jones because although I've never actually seen um, any of those movies, <laughs> I know it's sort of like blasphemy. I've never seen any of those movies, but I haven't. So I only know the theme song because he plays it on his show. And it's, it's pretty fitting. Yeah, it is. So we're off. I'm a little, little bruised up, a little beaten. Not too worse for wear, though, considering. I'm very, very proud of those last, I don't know, 15 people that stuck, stuck by it. So, <sighs> sad for the people that got hurt today, because um, especially those first few, there was just no way to avoid that. It was a very scary situation, and I really hope my stream uploaded properly. Um, but that was uh, was not a situation I have ever found myself in. Um, I've been trapped before, but not trapped with people. That Hello. How are you? Hi. Good. You Thank you. So, yeah, I think this is the way out, right? This is the way out. Straight okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh man. Hope you guys are as tired as we are. Whew. That was rough. Oh man, almost, almost out. I can see the exit. Oh. There's uh, some of the NLG, the National Lawyers Guild. Go ahead, man. Um, I'm not crossing against the light. Um, you want to get to Wabash in 20 seconds? What's the best way to do it? Is this light going to change? It appears safe to walk. Hmm. Does the light change at all? No, you can just go. You could just go across. Okay, Nobody thank can. you. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hey, there's that in a that new sky. Like I'm safe and thank you all for staying with me and we'll see you at the indie event.